it seems like I can do no projects out here and try to video them without wind and today is no exception I guess it's the joy of being in Florida right off the beach so today's project I want to clean and put some type of a protectant on the uh, roof of our uh, 2018 Tiffin. I did a lot of research on the tech form. What did everybody use to protect their roofs? I've been using 303 for years. It is a good product. I wanted something a little stronger than that to protect the UV rays and stuff on our fiberglass roof. And so I researched a product called Promax. And on Promax Marine, their website, I uh, watched some videos. I ended up calling Promax and asked them, is this good for an RV roof, fiberglass roof? And, and it should be, right? It's a marine product. Marine boats are fiberglass. And so I talked to Jeff, the founder of Promax, and he told me that he has a 2019 Tiffin Phaeton, and he uses this product on his roof. And so I end up, after talking to him, buying a couple products, and I want to put those on today. I want to show you what they are. One, it's the PHZ-1. This is a compound that lightly busts off any kind of scuff marks, any uh, oxidation, any of that kind of stuff. You put it on with a buffer, you lightly buff it, you wipe it off. Pretty simple process. The second part is the protectant. You put what they call PHZ-2 protectant. And so again, you buff this right on and then you wipe it off. You lightly buff. Now, I didn't have a buffer and I have had buffers through the years and uh, so I, I haven't had one in many years and so I had to go out and buy a buffer I looked on uh, marketplace to try about a used one but at the end of the day for what I was spending um, on marketplace I could buy one at Harbor Freight brand new so I ended up going that route and bought this one at Harbor Freight it's on sale for 40 bucks and so I bought that so today that's my project and I'm hoping this product will, will do really well and it will last and uh, protect our roof for years, for a year or two. So anyway, wish me luck today. I'm going to shoot a video of beginning to end and so you'll see how the product worked on ours. Okay, I'm up on the roof and uh, I have already cleaned the roof and uh, washed it off. So it's pretty, pretty clean right now as you can see. I'm going to take uh, a several before and after pictures. Okay, I've already been uh, buffing a little bit of this, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm uh, putting a little bit of the PHZ-1 onto the pad. And I'm just working a small area. Hopefully you can see the difference. The sun is so bright out here. I don't know if I can, I can truly get it on camera, but you can see right there where the line is. And I've already done a good portion of the roof. I've already done all the way down through here. So hopefully that looks, and this is just the compound. I haven't done the, the protectant yet, so that's gonna make it even better. Okay, the next step in this process is the PHZ2, the protectant. Now, I didn't do the entire top yet, just for time's sake. I'm gonna split it and do this. I got me a clean towel. A little knee pad here. And I got a fresh pad 
from uh, Promax for this actual number two protectant. This is what they recommend. don't know if this is going to capture how shiny and how clean the roof is after this I'm hoping that the screen will pick up and this is with me barely doing it and right there is the unfinished way better protected in my opinion uh, than just doing a 303 well I am finally done actually with the compound and the protectant on the roof and I'm gonna tell you it looks great it took me about four hours to do it I did some other things I stopped and ate and those kind of things but uh, it's a solid four hours it took me now you know I was new at buffing I've never buffed before a polisher so uh, I wanted to be super careful with that and uh, so it took me a little longer but the bonus this will last for three years so I should not have to touch my roof for three years and uh, it looks really good so I'm gonna show it to you Hopefully you can see just how shiny this thing is. It looks really, really good. And I know you don't probably have a good reference based off of uh, the pictures I took and hopefully you can fit, put in this video, but I will say right here is the only corner that has not been done. And I don't know if you can tell the difference because the sun is in my face. But I'm going to tell you, this thing looks great. Well, that's a wrap. Uh, I have finished this project. I tell you, this roof project is something I have not wanted to do over the last couple months. I knew I was going to have to do something. I was thankful that I went on the tech forums and found a Pro Max. Uh, you know, I did find other things to do, but I looked at Pro Max, called their company, great product got it here quickly I bought the PHZ 1 and 2 to go on my roof and I bought a bundle pack with that and that was about 40 some dollars 48 dollars and then I bought the PHZ 3 to go on the side of the RV and uh, also on the uh, on the vehicles so that cost me with shipping and all it was right around 100 bucks uh, for everything and uh, so you could get something probably cheaper, but I'm not sure you can get a better product. Again, Jeff and his team at Promax uh, Marine, they are uh, very good to deal with. They did give me some great ideas, and I appreciate that to Jeff. And this roof looks great. And the best thing, hey, I won't have to worry about it for three years. So I'm really pleased with that. It, it just looks great. I'm just sitting here looking at it. And I'm like, wow, it looks really good. But it did take me about four hours to do it. But if I was a little quicker on buffing, and I think if I had to do it again, I would be quicker. So leave me a comment if you see it that I did something wrong. If I did something right, that'd be good too. But let me know if I did something wrong and how I can do it better. Again, I've never used a polisher buffer before, so I just wanted to be super careful that I didn't do anything wrong or burn any, make any swirl marks, anything like that. So again, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Thumbs down if you don't like it, uh, but leave me a comment and I'll get back to you with any questions you may have. And we'll make sure we leave the link to Pro Max Marine if you want to look at their products. They have other products as well. Oh, one other other thing I'm gonna give you a tip so I bought a new polisher from Harbor Freight it worked great the Bauer B-A-U-E-R and it was on sale from 69 to 39 so 40 bucks I bought that polisher and I bought a couple pads from Harbor Freight as well the same name brand as the polisher but I would tell you that the Pro Max Marine uh, pad that I bought for the PH PHZ2 was actually better than a Harbor Freight. So again, I'm not getting anything from Promax for this. I'm just telling you, if I was gonna do it again, I would buy both pads from Promax and you can wash those in Dawn dishwashing uh, detergent, uh, let them dry out and, and then use them next time. And I only used about maybe a little more than a third of the product. So I think I could easily do my roof two more times each. So anyway, if you see me out on the road, 
you want to use it I'll let you use mine if not go on their website maybe two or three people get together and buy it and y'all could share it and you could do a couple rigs also anything fiberglass your boats anything anything you you could think of uh, fiberglass I would use it and uh, the PHZ 3 I use that on my uh, Jeep and I'm gonna use it on the side of the RV so that's another product that's tested from those guys that seems to work really great so the one disclaimer I would tell you if you do this on your roof is be careful it is super slick it is really slick so I would think if you have water up here if you're washing it you need to be really careful so outside of that most people don't get on the roofs that much and I'm pretty careful anyway on the roof so anyway it looks good great product check out their website and let me know what you think hey until next time seatbelts on <music>